There we go. We are in 14.2, problem 2, page 812 today. Let's see if they can see it. We need to graph a triangle. Go ahead and graph the vertices given. Oh, I see. Oh, this is nice. This graph, each box is one in both directions today. So two, five. <coughs> in the triangle, put the ordered pairs next to each vertex or corner, <coughs> determine the perimeter. What do we need for perimeter? Distance formula. Distance formula. Okay, so we don't have any flat or horizontal or vertical sides. So we're going to need distance formula for all three sides. So we're going to need to set up a distance between A and B, a distance between B and C, a B and, C and a distance between A and C. All right. We're going to need our big, huge uh, square root. And we're going to need to collect up, subtract, and square the x's. And collect up, subtract, and square the y's in both situations. This group right here, you got AB. This group right here, you got BC. That table, those two tables, you guys got distance AC. So use the ordered pairs. Subtract x's, square them. Subtract y's, square them. I'll be walking around after I find my water. Do you guys see my water? There. Thank you. Okay. You guys have distance AC. You put your order pairs down there and figure out who to subtract. Oh, it's looking much better out there today. Lost a cat. Are we doing BC? No, Yes, you are. No. Wait, hold on. You're doing BC. You're BC. But it's okay. If you have the other one, then you did one of the other two. Okay, I know what I did wrong. You guys see the cat to my pen? I thought it went flying across. I thought you just say it's worth my cat. I did Oh man, I like this thing. Oh, well. 
AB crew. <clears throat> Oscar, what'd you subtract? Um, nine and five. Okay. And what? How about the other one? Ten minus two. What'd you get for a final answer? Whoops. Eight point nine. Final answer. After he subtract and times A B we have eight point nine. I'm gonna write it right there. Eight point nine. Two other people in these two tables agree with Oscar. Alright? Martine, would you subtract for yours? So he had 10 minus 6 squared and 9 minus 1 squared. What'd you get for a final answer? You gotta subtract, square, add, square root. 8.5, and that's right here, 8.5. Do you guys agree with Martine? You're on a different table. <laughs> Do, Isabella, do you agree with Martine? Yes, I do. I did it all. I didn't do that. I did the AB. Okay, but did you get 8.5? No, I, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, but uh, the inner square root is the same number as the, the sacred. It's 80 also. The sacred. Let's see. Uh, this would be for... And this would be 8. Oh, interesting. Uh, so this one would be 4, and this one would be 8. Okay, so what Jerry noticed is they should be the same length. So let's, let's double check. Maybe it had to do with some rounding of digits. Okay. So on uh, clear. I'm going to try this one first. 4 squared is 16, 8 squared is 64, that's 80, and second square root of 80, 8.9, okay, so it should be 8.9, okay, so I got this from Martine, Martine, you set the problem up correctly, but something happened somewhere in the add, subtract, square root. So 8.9 uh, is the right answer. You know what? If this is 8.9, I'm going to put a little mark there and a little mark there to remind myself they're congruent. They're congruent. Um, that's a special kind of triangle. Who knows what that kind of triangle is called? Good, let's label it. I saw so these. I saw. Should there be another S? I S O S C. Yeah, I think I, I had an S and I second guessed myself. Okay, the A C group. Anna, how'd you set up the A C measurement? Okay, and what'd you get for a final answer for a length? 5.7, 5.7. All right, whew, there we go. Now, uh-oh, look at, oh wait, what, what did they ask us for, perimeter? Brody, how do we find perimeter? You gotta... Is that like the surface area? Not the not the area. They're probably going to ask us that in another all the, question. All the, all the you add the sides up. I add all the sides up. So we have eight point nine plus eight point nine plus five point seven. Twenty six point five. 
And we don't have any units. If it was inches, we'd put inches, but they don't give us any units there. Okay, now we're going to determine the area. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody read number two for us. Thank you, Brody. <laughs> mean. To determine the area, you will need to determine the height. How will determining the height of this triangle be different from determining the height of the triangle in common? What do you think? How are we going to determine the height there? Um, we'll draw a line, but uh, how do we know where to draw the line to? Is this the height? Is that the height? It needs to go. We need. We need a height that goes down the middle perpendicular. Now, they give us a little hint. Yes, Jerry. Midpoint formula. In an isosceles triangle, where you have both sides the same. Could you, okay, in a isosceles triangle where both sides the same, um, the altitude, that thing that comes straight down is called an altitude, is right at the midpoint. So we need to figure out the midpoint of AC. AC. Okay, um, what are they doing? They're doing something different. We've got a better way. I don't like their way. Oh, is it right on a point? Yeah. Four, three. It sure looks like that. Should we trust our eyeballs or should we do this mathematically? Well, let's see. I think the midpoint formula is pretty easy. Here's what we're looking for. Who remembers the midpoint formula if we're trying to find the midpoint between these two points? I do something with the x's. x plus x divided by 2. Which of these numbers are x's? Chris V, what happens when I go 2 plus 6 and then divide it by 2? Four. Oh, it looks like Isabella might be right. Here's my Y's. Christian, what are my two Y's here? It's highlighted. It's my fingers are on them. Five and one. Five plus one divided by two. Oscar, five plus one divided by two is... Three. 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 Okay, so Isabella was right. This point right here is four, three. Now, uh, we need this height. We need a distance from B. What should we call this? D? You like D down at the bottom? D, E, F. D. Okay, so distance... D, B equals square root. Hey, folks, catch up with me. Here's what we're going to do. 10 minus 4 squared. Write this down, please. You're right. 9 minus 3 squared. Okay. In the triangle... What that is, is I'm going from here down to there. I need this dotted line, and I need how long it is. Here's B. We just figured out D. Okay, 10 minus 4 is 6. 9 minus 3 is 6. 6 squared is 36. We're up to 72. Is that too low? Okay. Take a square root of 72. Whoops. Clear. 
second square root, 72, 8.5. That looks about right. <coughs> DB is the height. Okay? Now, if, let's simplify this, and I need to bring it down because it's out of the, the view right here. If this AC is 5.7, and that height is 8.5. Get me the area of that triangle, please. What's the area of a triangle? One half times base on height. Go ahead. You're on it. Perfect spot to stop.